What I argue, and this builds on past scholarship that I've written, is that Congress should be the one to recognize a right to education. So I argue several things about this. So first, that we need to shift how we understand education federalism. Right now, we say the states and localities have to have most of the authority over, over education, and we give the federal government really kind of a small part of that. What I argue is that we need much more of a partnership between the federal government and the states and localities such that they would work together to ensure that all children get an excellent education and to close opportunity gaps. And so in having Congress recognize a federal right to education, this would be the federal government saying, we are the ultimate guarantor of, of educational excellence and equity. And it would be holding the states accountable for ensuring that they do that. What I argue is that we should do that in an incremental fashion. So I don't argue that we should tomorrow enact a federal right to education that has sort of all the components that I think it will ultimately need. What I argue is that we should have an incremental approach that would test out a variety of theories of how the federal right to education could be enacted and allow states to experiment with them and then engage in incorporating a federal right to education through the Elementary and Secondary Education Act or a standalone legislation that would build upon that laboratory of the states and the information gathered from experimentation before trying to enact some kind of longstanding legislation.